All right, important question. Rice or bread? In terms of what? In terms of- In terms of like general consumption. In terms of you have to pick one, the I, other one disappears from the world and you can only have, you can only have rice or bread for the rest of your life with any meal. Oh, that's which so which which carb do you pick? Which carb do you pick? Bread. I'm 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 you know I'm and that's not because I'm white. Right? <laughs> uh, I, I think there's there's substitutes for for rice that exist. Ooh, okay. And also, I don't always need rice. I'll be sad. I'll be sad that fried rice no, is gone. No, I'll be sad. no, no. I'll be sad. But you know, you don't always need bread, but I could always do with. I, a, I could always bread. do with some I rice, man. Are you telling me <laughs> that means that means some of the most goaded foods on earth are gone, like sandwiches and br and burgers and, and hot dogs. I know we have onigiri for a reason, right? You know, that's no, that's no. <laughs> yeah. yeah Japanese McDonald's has yeah, some yeah, rice yeah, burger. Yeah, 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 yeah Japanese yeah, are figuring like, it out. Like, this yeah. is like asking like you go to the combini, right? Because they have the sandwiches right next to the onigiri. Which one yeah. do you go for, right? Okay, I'm a sandwich guy. I'm a, I'm I you know the. I do, but I do, I do sometimes get on a gear. Oh, yeah. My God, this is the one time I regret being half Asian. Cause I can't decide. <laughs> yeah. I full, I, full white, full Asian. I'm, sometimes I'm rice all the way. I, 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 I could not give up rice with like half listen, the meals I cook with. Oh, okay. yeah, going, like, first of all, combini sandwiches and, and, and onigiris. Let's just talk about that for a second. And okay. We'll go back. I, I agree. Sandwiches better than onigiri. But con, 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 uh, onigiri is like a gamble, I feel. Like the filling quality you get is so 50-50. And if you get no filling in it, mm -hmm. I feel so bad that I just ate a block of rice. I'm like, shit, that didn't taste good. <laughs> and with like sandwiches, always, always good. You always get the same level. Oh, yeah, I mean, like you'd be giving up some like goaded things, like you know, pizza. That that would be pizza's like pizza's gone. Are you telling me that you're willing to get rid of pizza? I didn't even think about that. <sighs> you know, you know what? I would, you know, because like to me, clown, to, to, to me, rice is the perfect, just neutral thing. You know, it's just give me any meat or it's, any it's, kind of meal. It, and like, you need some kind of neutral filling with that. Rice is just, rice just plays that role perfectly. Is wheat me. gone? Is, is, this, is this like, <laughs> it's all like is everything <laughs> wheat based gone? Is beer gone? No, 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 no. Just, okay. just specifically bread. Okay. You know, if as, as, it, as, if if yeah, go, go I've come it. to my decision, okay, I've thought about it long and hard. I love okay. both bread and rice, okay, but I'm gonna have to side with bread on this one. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to side with his bread. German side one day. His right, German my side German won. side has won. Yeah, just because I'm thinking about the sheer variety of breads mm -hmm. as opposed to the mm -hmm. sheer variety of mm -hmm. rice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and rice. As much as I love it, mm -hmm. a lot of times can be replaced with bread. In a lot of meals, not, not a lot of Asian things. But yeah, not a lot of Asian things, things for <laughs> I'm sure. I'm thinking of because I, I not I, a lot I, of Asian things, but yeah. in 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 the case with like a, a carb companion, yeah, a lot of things can be replaced with bread. Like, how are you gonna eat soup without bread now? That's gone. You can yeah. do it with rice. No. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you. I can. mean, you can, but you shouldn't. I know you, you can. <laughs> actually, no. we do that in Thailand. Actually, no. you know, no. <laughs> it depends on the. You can, you can eat. You can, you can. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm telling you. You can. I mean, you can. God, you okay. can stick your dick in the fridge. Doesn't mean you should. <laughs> <laughs> I can, <laughs> but I'm not going to. There is nothing wrong. Actually, you know, depending on the soup, some soup goes so well with rice. You know. Yeah, okay. Look, yeah, I get it. Fuck, okay, I actually, yeah. Yeah, to like I cannot imagine eating uh, okay, tom, tom yum. yum and like soup curry. I understand, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. rice is probably the better companion. Yeah. But in the in the wider world of soups, <laughs> <laughs> bread is the goat. Honestly, I'm not saying rice is better than bread. I'm just saying you know it's right rice. In in you know in, in a starving world, in in in, in a starving <laughs> world, okay, in in a world where aliens have invaded Earth yeah. and you know, gum to your head, rice or bread, which one goes? Bread. I would I would be oh, like, no, I'm keeping the bread. I, I would yeah. be like, oh, I, th it, I think I would keep the rice. Isn't like uh, katsu's gone too, because that's breading, right? And like fried chicken, that's bread technically, There's a bit of bread in. Oh, uh, that's uh, true. I mean, that's that's true. I mean, that's I, that's I that's, think that's now, like flour. Now that know? I'm thinking about it, I think that curry, like Japanese curry, would go bomb with bread. I feel like a, some, oh yeah! I feel like we can we cocoa curry should get rid of the rice. Let's just <laughs> bread a side of bread. We can just scoop it up. But that sounds so good. I mean, they do the cauliflower rice, which actually goes quite exactly. Hard. Yo, exactly. We don't need rice. We, don't, <laughs> we have cauliflower. Rice. Cauliflower rice is so good. You know, actually, I are we, in America. Did you, did you remember when I ordered that thing? I ordered cauliflower chicken. Yeah, yeah, chicken, yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. know what it was. Yeah, and it looked like exactly like a piece of fried chicken on the outside. Yeah, do you remember this with the buffalo no, sauce. No, right? I don't. 
Um, no, no, it was like um, it was like a dry rub. It was weird. And oh, it was like, and you bite into this piece that looks exactly like a thick piece of fried chicken, and it was just a piece, piece of cauliflower. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm sorry, it just blew my mind. Dude, cauliflower's good. Yeah, so good. Low kind of, like we 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 have a bad image of cauliflower because it seems to be that one thing we always hated as a kid. But no, yeah. I loved it as a kid. You loved it as a kid? Yeah. In the in the UK, you always had like cauliflower with like a creamy cheese sauce thing. It was always really good. Oh, that yeah. sounds good. My parents wouldn't serve it to me though. I think they thought it was too bad for me. But my <laughs> friends' house did. <laughs> yeah, I never got that. I just got like the normal boiled cauliflower. So yeah, me too. Yeah, but I, I like that too. You like that as well? I like- oh, Actually, you, love, just, you just love every vegetable. I love veg, man. Veg is so good. Carrots yeah. is meh, but every other veg is pretty good. All right, all right. <laughs> Noodles or pasta? What am I keeping? Yeah, what are you keeping? Oh pasta. God, like a million times. Isn't oh, that God. way- Oh no, there's a lot of noodle variations. There isn't a lot of noodle there's variations. There's a lot of noodle have variations. We, have we had, I feel like we've had this date. I'm getting deja vu. Have we had this discussion? I feel like I was about to say there's way Maybe. more. I, we, I was, we might have. I was about to say there's way more noodles of pasta, uh, way more variation of pasta, but then I think you rebut rebuttaled, no, there was way more oh, variations of noodles. I think it might have been one this? of our like first episodes where we talked yeah. about like food. I don't think we've- What if this. we're literally reliving an entire, and this is like <laughs> so weird. <laughs> so I was gonna clip it too. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I think we might've had a similar conversation off camera. I don't think we've had it. I, you know, I, I, I think- I, I feel like this would, I feel like if it is, it would be a bigger meme probably. I feel like I would have seen some memes on the subreddit uh, but about pasta, this. For sure. Pasta? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm keeping 100%. pasta. No I agree. I agree. I got I got I got to betray my Asian brethren. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry guys. I love my noodles, man. I just it would feel it would feel so bad losing out on all of the noodles, all of the ramen, all just the Thai spaghetti noodles, in it. Chinese <laughs> noodles. <laughs> just use spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. Oh. <laughs> but honestly, Italians I gotta fucking give it to yeah. you guys. You you guys you guys made something goaded, yeah. man. Yeah, I I could not I could not give it's up. It's my pasta. favorite carb. It is, it's it is. So it hands is. down. Hands down pasta, pasta goaded carb. Yeah. God, I love pasta, man. <laughs> I've never met a single oh. person who doesn't like pasta. So yeah, I know, good. right? Everybody loves it. Yeah, it's it's like Italian cuisine, right? What what's what's the most widely seen cuisine you've seen around the world? Because I think to me it's Maybe Italian. Yeah, it's Italian. It's, Italian. it's the easiest one to get. No, ma no matter where I go in the world, you know, sometimes you find a hard time finding like, you know, Mexican restaurants. Mm. Then you go to America, no problem. You know, sometimes you have a hard, hard time maybe finding French food or, mm. you know, Thai food, you mm. know. Um, but like, I've never had a hard time finding an Italian restaurant. Yeah. And like, even, you know, a lot of people I think are going to say like Chinese food, but I feel like China. <sighs> there's the Chinese food and the then there's. Chinese food. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, okay, I, here's the thing. I don't think Chinese food exists, right? In the sense, okay. <laughs> let's let, get out of context. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's real. In, in, in the sense where I don't think Chinese food can be branded as in one under one umbrella. Right, right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because different out of, out because of context, Chinese food isn't real. No, no. Because like different parts of China yeah. have different like styles of cuisines. Is yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. Trying to say, yeah, right? yeah, it's, yeah, it's, for sure. It's like the variation. So Italy though as well. Yeah, yeah. The, like the variation in Chinese food is so fucking like large mm. that if I if I go to a place and it's just like, oh, this is a Chinese food restaurant, I'm just like. That's that's sus. What part? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Is it is it you know Cantonese uh, Cantonese cuisine? Is it you know um, Szechuan. Szechuan? You know, there's uh, China has like so many different styles of cuisine that I would like to know which which part of China which mm. cuisine am, am I eating rather than if it's just Chinese food? I, and I think this comes from growing up in the UK. Mm. Um, when it's Chinese food in the UK, it's it, it's it's awful. A lot of Chinese food in the UK is awful because it's just your baseline here is westernized Chinese food as opposed to actual Chinese cuisine. Um, and so finding finding like actual specialized Chinese cuisine um, is a lot harder than finding good Italian food in my opinion. Yeah. I want to say that next time I go to a Panda Express, I'm like, oh, what part of China is this from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this Sichuan or? <laughs> I mean, the, the, the yeah. Chinese, Chinese food in America is like barely Chinese food. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, I, had a, I, I remember having this argument with, uh, with a mate in England and I was like, yeah, I, I, sweet and sour chicken, I, that's not real Chinese food. You know, you, you go to China and you try and find sweet and sour chicken, you're not going to be able to find that, no. you know? And he's like, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I swear to God, it's my favorite Chinese food, you know? And I'm like saying, you know, that's kind of like saying orange chicken. You yeah, know? it's like, what do you mean I can't get orange chicken in China? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Chinese food. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, to me, Italian, Italians are goaded with their food. And yeah. it's also, I think one of the easiest cuisine to find worldwide. Mm. I've not been to a country so far where I've had a hard time finding Italian in a good Italian restaurant, kind of like anywhere. That's true. Yeah, you got yeah. it Italians. Congratulations the on the, the goats. <laughs> congratulations on the pasta. You got that dub. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think about French food? Uh, not as good as Italian. I mean, it's all right. Like. Because, okay, here's the thing. French have the image of being like, you know, yeah. oh, we, we have like the best food, you know, this is where all of the culinary like giants are. You could've just stopped you... at we have the best blank. Like I, I think French food, I, I used to go to France every year for like, you know, fucking forever. Uh, yeah. For like three weeks at a time. And like French food in, in France was amazing. Uh, and it was so good, like mm. some of the yeah. best in the world. Yeah. But yeah. the moment you leave France to get actually good French food, you have to pay out the ass. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Whereas I feel like Italian kind of travels a little better. You mm. can get dishes for I more I feel like you need prices. to pay out the ass while you're in Paris as well, <laughs> Yeah. to be fair. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, outside of Paris is great. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. You know, it's a lot more affordable to get really good quality stuff in sure. France. Um, but yeah, just, it doesn't export well. And I yeah. think that's mm. the problem is that Italian kind of like food, it's very easy to kind of make it in, more palatable to the whatever culture or whatever country you're in mm -hmm. right. for an affordable price. It's more customizable. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, and um, I just think, yeah, Fran France is the problem where to get really good French food abroad, you have to spend a shit ton of money. Mm. Yeah, a lot of the time. That's true. A lot of yeah. the time, not all the time, a lot mm. of the time. So yeah. that's why it feels like kind of like more bougie Italian. Sometimes you're like, yeah, fuck it, no, mm. I go Italian. Well, it's, it's like French always has, <laughs> I think everything French has this image that is bougie. Yeah. Like yeah. French, French, the language sounds bougie a lot yeah. of the times. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, like I, th I think one thing I noticed because you know, I, you know, I've said before that I spend a lot of money, a lot, a lot of my disposable income, um, trying out different restaurants because that's like I guess my favorite thing to spend money on nowadays. Mm. Um, like going, one thing that always bothers me about going to let's say fancy restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, higher tier end restaurants, um, is that. It th Everyone's kind of agreed, right? It's, you know, they taste really good. Is it worth the price? A lot of the times, no, it's not worth the price. A lot of times you go for the experience, you go for this kind of like rare ingredient that mm. you can't get anywhere else. It's, it's kind of like you're paying for like the rarity as opposed to the how good it tastes a lot mm. of the times. Um, but one thing that always bothers me is a lot of like higher class restaurants I go to, they, it, it tastes, doesn't taste the same, but they never go too far of this like taste profile. Nothing ever tastes too strong. You know, right. you, there's there's, there's mm -hmm. always like a subtle hint of something. And sometimes I just want to, maybe this is the Southeast Asian in me talking. Some, I want to see what happens if some, if, if there is a fine dining or a high class restaurant that just, that just commits to having a really spicy food of really, really strong taste. Cause of, obviously that's not going to appeal to anyone mm. or everyone. Um, but I, I, that's that's one thing I would like to see. I feel though those exist, especially in Japan in like the mom and pop shops, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, they're not afraid to not, you know, uh, pertain to the- What do the, you mean by mom and pop shops? You know, like the, the locally owned places, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that have yeah. been yeah. around for like several generations, you know, that yeah. maybe specialize in a particular dish or a particular style of dish. Yeah. Because they're not afraid of alienating the general yeah. consensus like exactly. they, they just they just want to they were like we have this one thing yeah and this is our gimmick and if you fuck with it then you can come back at any time mm, but yeah. if you don't then go somewhere else you know yeah. like they don't mm. care about becoming like this you know big thing or having this you know large name in the in the restaurant world if you will so it's like you know because like some of the weirdest shit i've ever eaten and i've eaten a lot of weird shit in my life has always been in the <laughs> most like dingy local places yeah. that just don't really give a fuck they're like yeah, yeah this is our weird thing Yo, you like it? Cool, thanks. I'm curious, I'm curious about you, Joey. How, when when have you had like a shokugeki moment? You know, the fucking, you, 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 you take a chicken. take. I mean, the Korean fried chicken, I almost Oh, had. really? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And also the, t the first time I went to that skimmin place I took you guys yeah, to. Yeah, that was, mm. Sukumen, like there are a few dishes that, that have made me had the shokugeki moment. Sukumen is like one of those places. Mm. There's a lot of Thai dishes I remember as a child that still, you know, sticks with me to Hell this yeah. day. Um. First time lasagna, man, of course. <laughs> <laughs> My first lasagna, I still remember that shit, man. It wasn't even like a great lasagna, but I'm just like, holy mm. shit. Sure, sure. Holy shit, how can how can you improve pasta above, above yeah. sauce? Yeah, it is good, yeah. it is good. What about you, Connor? Lasagna, just most foods. <laughs> he has one every day, I Yeah, believe. that's true, that's true. I think as long as it's not pasta and salt, I'm a, I'm a nut. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm very <laughs> anything, anything's yeah. under. He's, I'm he's experienced the bottom of the barrel, I'm so very, anything else is I'm, above. I'm it. very easy to please with food. Um, I just want something that makes me fall and taste good, and I'm happy. I feel that's why we're such shit chefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah Because yeah. if we actually cared about food, then that's we why would, I don't want to. Know. I don't want to. I don't want to get a better palate. <laughs> I, I, I fucking love what I eat right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think. I think. <laughs> I think. I, I, I don't know. I think uh, going on a tangent, I've tried like cooking a bit more mm. and obviously I'm biased, but uh, I, th I think I could be a pretty good cook. And I think oh, part of the God. reason I could be a pretty good cook is because I'm a really picky eater. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I want things to taste exactly. I have a have a way that I want them to taste exactly in my mind. Mm. And when I get that, I'm like, holy shit, this tastes fucking Well, I would bomb. argue that's what makes the best chefs, right? Like they actually care about what goes into the food and the, the small subtleties of what makes a dish great. Like yeah. if you didn't give a shit about it, then you'd be like, you end up like Mr. Pasta and Salt over here. Yeah. Where it's just like, if it's edible, Does the job. it's going in my tummy. You know, you if, know? I, if I had more time, I'd probably cook more because I do enjoy cooking. I do enjoy the final result. There's mm. a lot There's a lot of things I enjoy in life. Out of the three of us. I yeah. enjoy the final result. I don't enjoy the aftermath or some of the process <laughs> of what happens before that final result. But True. when you get that final result in, it's 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 really it's it's so fucking satisfying. Yeah, for God, sure. I sound like Maylin right now. <laughs> yeah. She's rubbing off on you. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even hang out with Maylin too much. Yeah.